Hey guys, Scotty Lyons here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Today's segment is proudly brought to you by Shimano. Tomorrow's tackle today. Myself and Glenn, my good mate here, we're heading down the south coast to fish the shallow reefs. Should be a fantastic day, we've got great weather, so let's get out there and see how we go. Well, we've had a fantastic run down, and like I said, it's an absolutely glorious day. And uh, very little swell today, which is fantastic. We're anchored on the shallow reef, so I've just put the anchor out, so we're all set up. We're sitting in about 16 metres, that's where I dropped the anchor, and the boat's hanging back into 18, so I'm fishing the step where it drops off the reef onto the gravel and sand. The method I'm using today is very simple. I've got a heap of burley cut up here, pilcher cubes, all cut into little pieces. Now what I'm doing is just dropping them into the water, and keeping the, the burly trail continuous. And then all I do is pick up a bigger cube, drop the hook in. Now I'm using a number one with a small lead just sitting on top. Very, very simple rig. Well, we move from our first spot. And after about half an hour, uh, no results. So we've anchored just in a little bit deeper water. We're actually sitting on a high spot behind us that uh, come up to about 28 metres and we're dropping back to about 32. And a little bit more current out here so the burley is running a bit faster. So I've had to go up in lead size just a little bit. And this is our first fish. We've been sitting here for about 15 minutes burling. So hopefully we've got a good snapper. And this is a good method because wherever you are along the coast it'll work. It's just a matter of about finding a nice little lump and dropping your pick on it and fishing back to the deep water. Now we've got a little bit of colour now. And it looks like a nice snapper. There you go, look at that for a red. Absolutely beautiful. It's a fantastic snapper. Fishing down the burley trail. Absolutely great result. Okay, the gear needed for fishing your um, baits down the burley trail is pretty simple. I'm using a Shimano 4000 bait runner, spooled up with Snyder 6 kilo line or 12 pound. I find mono works better for this type of uh, fishing. To match to that, I've got a beautiful little Shimano Snapper 732 in 3 to 6 kilo. And that's a great little combination for this style of fishing. Now the rig I'm using is very simple, it's just a ball sinker sitting on top of the hook. And that just allows the bait to float naturally down the burley trail and uh, it works really well, I find it quite deadly. The bait we're using today is pilchards. Now I'm cubing the pilchards up and using cubes for burley and then just putting a half pilchard on and floating that back in the trail. And there's our beautiful result, a lovely snapper. Hopefully the cook can come up with something wonderful for us. Today I've come up with a little dish that you could use for snapper, whiting or brim. Today I'm actually using some yellowfin brim and I'm going to serve that tempura style with some wasabi mayonnaise. So here we go. Basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do it with the tempura butter, so real simple. Okay, to make the tempura butter, it's a very simple dish. Basically we need some soda water, some plain flour, 
one egg white, and some salt and pepper. So about 200 mils of soda water should do the job. Next thing we need to do is add our egg white, and we're just gonna pop this in to our soda water, and then we're gonna whisk. And as you can see how light and fluffy the actual egg white and the soda water makes the, the liquid. We put our soda water and our egg white mixture into a bowl. And now we're gonna add some flour. Now what's important that we do not stir the flour in too much. I want some lumps in there. I don't want a uh, nice smooth batter that you would probably do with a beer batter, but with a tempura batter, I want some lumps. So what we do is just with a fork, or you can use chopsticks, is just lightly stir that in. So the way to test the batter that it's good is to grab your spoon and put it in and just make sure that the batter coats the back of the spoon and then we know we're right to go. So I'm just gonna test the heat in the pan. The way to do that is just grab a tiny bit of your batter, pop it in there and then wait till it rises to the surface and start to fry quite rapidly. So the next thing I need to do is just uh, pass my beautiful yellowfin brim through some seasoned flour and then into my tempura batter. So the little trick that I'm going to show you now is how you get that really crunchy sort of tempura batter. And what we have to do is pop some batter into my oil before I put my fish in. This seems a little bit weird, but it really works well. Now we're gonna move this to the side, and now we're gonna add our fish. So I just pop this on top, just hold it for a little while, and then let it go. And what this does, it cooks the batter, also stops the fish from um, sticking on the bottom of the pan. And it will just add that beautiful extra crunch. Also, it looks great on the plate. Okay, how we know it's done is you can actually feel the crispiness of the batter, and um, it floats to the top. So this, these guys are just ready to come out now. Okay, so I'm just gonna rest the fish. The batter will just get that little bit more crunchy, as you can hear. It's nice and crunchy. And I love the way it looks with these little shards that come off the fish. Just makes, gives it just that little bit more of a rustic look. And we're just gonna uh, serve that with a Japanese mayonnaise with some wasabi through there. And then we're just gonna top that with a little small Asian salad. And there you go. Well, special thanks guys to all our partners who joined us and I hope you guys enjoyed these clips. And don't forget to join us every week here at The Hook and The Cook and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and we'll see you every Friday here at The Hook and The Cook. Cheers guys.